Hi, I'm Sebastian from BMix, and in this video, I will be calibrating this temperature switch and sensor automatically. To do so, I will be also using a high accuracy reference sensor. For my heat source, I will be using the BMX MC60. The MC60 is a multifunction temperature calibrator and a field communicator. On the back side, we have the dry block section, and in the front side, we have the multifunction calibrator section. And one of the features that it has is that it has three RTD channels. In this application, I will be only using two of the channels. For all the other functions and features, please have a look at our uh, introduction video on the YouTube channel. The link is in the description. For this application, I will be using the dry block to generate heat for the temperature sensor and switch. I'll be using the reference sensor to measure the same environment as the sensor is in. I will be then also powering up the switch with a 24 volt loop supply and sensing the switch reset and set points at the same time. Some of the challenges when doing temperature switch calibration is that typically the internal reference sensor of a dry block has a faster reaction time than the sensor on the test. This creates errors in your measurements and results. Therefore, we recommend that you use an external reference sensor so you are able to measure as closely as possible to the same environment as your instrument under calibration. Also, your dry block needs to be able to, in a control manner, slowly enough, ramp up the temperature so your instrument has time to react. Temperature switch calibration is time consuming and it is challenging for a person to stay concentrated enough so that this person could capture the precise moment for the reset and set point of the switch. We are able to automate this whole process with the help of the MC60. Now let's perform the calibration of this temperature switch. You start off by going to the documenting calibrator mode on your MC60. You could either generate this instrument manually here on the MC60 screen, or like in my case, I have already made it in my uh, calibration management software, CMX, and send it to my calibrator. I'll choose the instrument. On the top part of the display, I see my position name, device information, and if I look at my procedure, I see that my switch set point is 35 degrees Celsius, and reset point is 33 degrees. The full operational range of this switch is 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. If I would be ramping up from 0 to 100, this would be taking quite a lot of time. I can be more efficient and limiting this scanning range, and in this case, I'm limiting it from 30 to 38 degrees Celsius. And to prove my repeatability, I'm doing three repeats of the same test. Before I'm able to hit the start button on my calibration sequence, I need to connect the test lead to my switch and also place the switch and the reference sensor inside of the dry block. There, now I have loop power to the switch and then I'm placing my reference sensor inside the dry block. They are now at the same immersion depth and I'll hit start. And I'll explain to you what you can see here on the display. On the top left corner, we see the reference sensor temperature value. On the right corner, we have the switch information. And this is a normally closed switch. When we reach the set point of 35 degrees, when this temperature is showing that, it's sending a signal to the MC60 that, okay, now I'm open. This will then capture this reference temperature into the first line here. This is my open or set point position. After that, it's gonna start going downwards in temperature. And when it reaches the 33 degrees here, it's gonna send a signal to the MC60 that now I've reached my reset point, please capture this reading. Then this reference temperature is gonna be recorded here. So this is my one repeat of switch calibration. This is gonna be done three times in this cycle. Now these blue lines here, lower one is for my reset point, 
and the upper one is for my set points. The blue lines represents the error limits. So I want my temperature value to travel within the blue lines. If it's below or above, it's going to be a fail calibration. As long as it's inside, it's going to be a pass calibration. For now let's let this run its course and come back to it a little bit later. Now we are getting closer to the final repeat set point of this calibration sequence. So we see here the temperature point is now for the switch 34.5 Celsius. So when it reaches 35 degrees, it will send a signal to the MC6T that now I'm open. At that precise moment, this reference temperature value will be recorded on this line. And let's have a look how that looks like. It has just now captured the third and final set point. So it recorded 35.115 degrees Celsius. And we see that here are the three set points. Here are the two first reset points. So now we will still need to capture that. I can also view a graphical view of this calibration. And here you see a very nice curve or diagram of the ramp itself. And this you can adjust depending on your temperature switch or sensor. On the left side you see the temperature and on the right side you see the stability curve. The lower the number, the more stable the, the signal is. Now we are uh, moving, we are going lower in the temperature. So you see that the stability is actually now increasing, which means that the temperature is moving in a one way or another. And also the temperature curve is also now going down. So this is a very visual way of representing what is happening during the calibration event. The calibration has just been finished. We have three past set point results and also three past uh, reset points. I can now go through my results on the screen. I see what type of errors was recorded. I can enter a note and this note will then be present on the calibration certificate. I can see my results on a graphical view, numerical view and also enter some environmental data if needed. I'll save the results. Job done. I could now then connect this to my computer, which is running either BMX CMX, calibration management software, or logical. If I want to stay completely paperless, I have my supervisor approve the results, and that's finished. If I want to print out, I can do it also in both of the calibration softwares. You have just witnessed how to automatically calibrate a temperature switch. If we want to learn more, please visit our YouTube channel and watch some videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.